Hey friends, how's it going? I am great. Well, I had a great time here in Bangkok, as always. A lot of things happened while I was here, uh, business-wise and personally. What I want to talk about today is a psychological issue which kind of helped me a lot with trading, but also on the other hand um, made life really hard for me um, when trying to learn how to trade. Because I was sabotaging myself a lot. Um, it took some while to figure out what was going on. So basically I thrive in chaos. And when there's a lot of routine and everything is working, I tend to become bored and create chaos artificially to make things interesting again. Not on a personal level, but business-wise. And it took me a really long time to figure that out. Basically, when other people are panicking, um, they're running around, losing their heads, I stay as calm as ice. You could basically you could put me on a battlefield, and um, I would keep a clear head until someone shoots it off. <laughs> but, but until then, I would be totally calm, and that's a huge advantage for a lot of jobs. It can also be a huge disadvantage for a lot of jobs. For example, that. You simply don't care enough about some things that don't really matter to you. Other people are panicking already and you don't even understand why. Because come on, I have seen a lot worse. So There are some people they freak out about um, they have an appointment today and two appointments tomorrow. And then they start freaking out completely. Um, for me that never ever happens. The most nervous I ever was in my life was probably before my oral exam <laughs> in university and I got an A plus on it like as soon as I am on the stage um, everything is fine so I would make a great medic soldier whatever these kinds of things as a trader I never cared too much about swings in my trading account drawdowns, uh, upswings, even as a poker player when I had a losing streak or a winning streak I would stay the same almost all of the time. Then somehow my body reacts to it in different ways. For example after all the pressure is gone, after the situation has disappeared, maybe one week later it will completely break down and tell me to stay in bed for a day or two and do nothing. And I have learned to listen to that, which helps me um, to stay healthy, of course. <laughs> Shouldn't push when your body tells you to slow down. But yeah, on the other hand, I really struggled with this when I was a break-even trader, because, because basically every time I started to make money, I started to create some drama to make things interesting again. Basically, I'm really feeling my best in a life when everything is going to shit. So I needed to find a vent for that problem. These days, I mean, a lot of people that struggle with the chaos that is going on these days um, in a political world, economy, um, geo stability, for example, um, all that stuff. Um, there's a lot of chaos going on, and a lot of people really, really have huge problems with that. And I found out that I can give other people really, really great advice on how to focus, on how to refocus and make sense of the chaos. And basically I did this exercise a while back, a psychological exercise with a friend of mine where you have to tell them about your life story and then they have to ask you a lot of questions and write down some resolutions and in the end we figured out that basically I love chaos and I love to help others to navigate this chaos of our time. So the outlet for myself was basically to start a business. When you are an entrepreneur, every day is chaos. There's always something going wrong, trust me. 
like seriously seriously wrong every day no day is ever the same and that's what I really love about being an entrepreneur besides being a trader for example with Edgewonk uh, software I would never have thought that uh, software brings with itself so many complications um, on a daily basis like bugs and software updates from third-party companies and all that stuff but I really love it when those problems come up I love to solve problems and this really helped me to become a better trader because I can push all my chaos energy into those projects and really thrive there and um, in trading itself, the more chaotic my business is, and the more is going on and anything, the better my trading is because I become very, very focused and effective and efficient. It took me a really long time to figure that out. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about this issue for a bit because I think I'm not the only one who is like that. Um, when I was working for uh, Audi, for example, um, Every day was basically the same. I could see my career 20 years ahead of me. I knew where I would be going and everyone there was very complacent in their life, in their ways. and um, It just didn't suit me. Right? So the life in a big company would never be for me in a big uh, corporation. I really, really need this struggle. But not on a personal level. Like, on a personal level, I really like to have peace. For me, business is a battlefield, and when I come home at night or in the evening, yeah, I need peace. Right. It took me at least 16 years to arrive at this conclusion, <laughs> but it was well worth it. And the next 10 years, from 30 to 40, are probably going to be the best 10 years of my life. Only because I did a lot of self Reflection, introspection, um, self-analysis, read a lot of books, did a lot of psychological mentoring programs and whatnot, and it really, really helped. So I'm not too sure about this yet, but I think in the future with um, Trade Society, I want to offer some kind of help to traders on the psychological level, uh, where I can bring in my expertise and my philosophical education as well. And I'm sure I can help a lot of people in that regard. Um, and I think it would be well worth my time and a very rewarding experience as well. But I simply don't have a lot of time right now. Um, so I have to figure out how to fit this into the schedule. But it's definitely something I'm very, very interested in. Now that I feel that I have conquered my own demons or I have become better and better at taming them or pushing them into more uh, productive directions, I feel like I am competent enough to help others that are where I was five or ten years ago. So maybe there will be something I'll be doing in the future with um, Trade Society. Besides that, uh, Rolf and me are coming to Singapore on the 8th and 9th of December to have a workshop there, a training workshop, to showcase our strategies and help you guys one-on-one, -on -one, basically. It will be a small class um, to understand our strategies uh, better. There are discounts for existing Trade Society students. And also, this will be the last um, DTR, because, as you know, we have started the podcast. So, I will use these videos in the future to transform them into a podcast. There will still be videos on YouTube, there will just be a different playlist with a different title. So this is the last video on this playlist. The next video will be a podcast video. That makes makes a lot of sense, so we can reach a bigger audience. And um, I'm looking forward to that. So if you've always wanted to hear my lovely voice on a morning commute, <laughs> then your time has come. If you still want to see my face, come back here to YouTube. If you only want to hear the sound, <laughs> go to iTunes and look for the Traders Improved podcast, where Rolf already did a lot of episodes, really, really good stuff, and I'm looking to add to his wisdom. 
Right, it's Sunday evening here. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. I watched Conor McGregor get beaten, which is sad, but it was kind of expected to be honest. Khabib is just uh, one beast. He's not a very he's not a very charismatic guy, and his fighting style is not very entertaining to watch but it seems to be very very effective so my hat off to Khabib not for what he did after the fight that was just fucked up but I think we will get some clarity about the situation in the coming days and as I said I'm looking forward to tomorrow because then the markets will reopen and that's just what I live for besides running two businesses together with Rolf and soon a third one <laughs> stay tuned see you in the podcast playlist